For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Alls Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a review on a driver we ordered from Vango. So this here is the Vango Keeler. So this is the Keeler 4, so it's the fourth generation and it's a new 2018 model with some quite significant differences um, in comparison to last year. So it's Vango's best selling driveway awning because it's very, it's a good sort of size, brilliant for sort of T5s. And even when you go to likes of sort of big RVs or motorhomes, it still is very good size wise internal and area. It's a sort of a very good spec. So you can also look at the Vango Idris, which is also the little sister to this that sits below it. Um, so this actually has the Keeler 420 denier fabric. So it's nearly five times thicker than what you'd get on a driver away as, as normal, really. And yet again, it's double ripstock. So the joys means that again, so if you have a small little tear, and it, it's not gonna suddenly carry on. It's just isolated to that one particular point. The Kia's have been very popular, certainly over the last sort of six years it's been out, mainly because of the fact you've got a beautiful big PVC window at the front, a nice sort of ventilation panel to sort of help combat condensation. You've got storm straps on the front again to give it a bit more rigidity rather than basic guy ropes on the main points. But you've still got guy ropes where you need it as well just to keep the tension as well as Van Gogh's unique line locking system itself. When we go around to the side, you've also got PVC windows throughout the whole of it, which obviously helps make it crystal clear. And you, below here, a nice ventilation panel to help with circulation inside of it. One thing that's a big change from certainly was sort of last year was the ability of accent sort of accessing your vehicle without having to go through the awning. So this side door here, quite simply, just opens up. And then you can roll that back. Enter the vehicle as you need to, without going traipsing your money shoes straight through the awning. So that one's a really nice thing. One thing to bear in mind, certainly for the 2018 collection, they've actually introduced a new skylight at the top here, just to help flood light back inside to the awning itself. It just really does make a difference. On the other side of this, there's actually a door, so you can actually enter the main awning without going through the main door at the front, and there's also a mesh part to that door. The big front door, unlike the Idris, actually has a mesh part to it as well. So if you wanted to, you could actually zip that up, roll it back, have the mesh open so you've got a lovely flow of air straight into the car into your sort of your T5 or the motorhome as well. This particular item as well, if you wanted to, you can actually look at the ability of buying some like Klingon pipes, buying some king poles and having it sort of like open like a little bit of a canopy really. So that's another option you can quite look at. But we'll talk a bit more about the ins and outs of it in a second as we head on inside and go through a few sort of yet again, more changes for the 2018 season. So let's see what it has to offer. So now we're inside the Keeney, you kind of get a bit of a better feel for how it's all laid out. And you can see the beautiful views out through the nice clear PVC windows. It really is a nice place to be and certainly as an extra onto sort of your vehicle, it really does tend to add an awful lot to the actual model itself. So uh, first thing you can see is actually there's a dividing door between the awning area and sort of the main sort of living area you see. So the attachment area can quite simply, when you want to detach it and drive away, that rolls back, toggles back to here. So you have it all toggled all the way like this, all the way around. And then you basically use an extra strap pointing here and that pulls it back and keeps it nice and solid when you obviously leave it to free stand. The door in question actually can be simply, so this door would actually, when you want to drive away, you seal it up completely. So you carry that all the way around on long top and also there's a zip along the bottom as well. So you just use it in dividing door. So again, you can have it at a half position like this and you've got little toggle points for that as well. So you, if you want to use it as a storage area when it's next to your vehicle, you could do so. But personally, I think for the point of seeing what's going on, let's open that bad boy up. And so it's just simply rolls it, but roll it back out the way. And you've got a little toggle retainer just there as well. When we get inside of it, again, you've got a sewn in ground sheet throughout it, so you get a real sort of enclosed feeling into the driveway itself. And it sort of tends to be a nice, pleasant place and safe place to be in. You can look at putting sort of extra in, inner bedrooms in, there's an optional extra, just if you want to sleep extra people in here outside the vehicle, it's a really good option. And it's certainly something a lot of people do take up on. Because you've got a sewn in ground sheet, really you must go for a footprint, because the footprint goes down beneath, underneath this as well, uh, and just protects the base of the awning. So when you're on a hard standing or anything like that, it just keeps it nice and tight, um, and it just means when you come to fold it, you're not folding a wet, muddy inside into a nice, clean roof. And actually, the footprint does sort of go the length out into the vehicle as well. So if you don't want to have it in the vehicle and have that as more wet, sort of a dry, you know, a wet area, you can sort of roll it back, tuck it underneath, and just leave it at B. 
One thing, like I said, we've dressed up a little bit in here just to kind of give it a bit more of a homey feel. It's one thing you do benefit from it. But you can see sort of the nice crystal clear PVC windows and you've got this new panel, like I said, on the outside, which just helps to floodlight it in when you want to have your privacy. So the curtains on this particular model are zip up. So you've got a little pocket, it just sits in here and then a zip either side. Zips up, simple as that. Gives yourself privacy, but still allows light to come in. But you can also, you can because it's zip, just take it down sort of halfway. So you can have a bit of privacy down below, but still allow more light to come in. And all it is is a little retainer, so you can just sort of just roll it back, fold it back like so, and then it's out of, peak, out of sight, out of mind. You've got a cable entry point, which is located down the bottom here, so it means you can actually get mains cable into the awning without having to sort of leave the door open the whole time. And you've got a low level ventilation panel to help with circulation of air. Like I said, you still got a ventilation panel at the top and the mesh door, which we talked about on the outside. Beautiful big window at the front here. Again, that's also got the privacy curtain. Same in the corners as well. Adds lights, but privacy as well. So that's a really good thing. Beams, like I said, is a bit clearly, you can see, uh, are pumped up individually. So one for the front, one for the back, and then one bracer up here as well. So the bracer, which, if I don't drop it, <laughs> um, quite simply does that. And again, it's just inflated separately, Velcros it in, and just gives that a bit more torsion. Uh, there is talk maybe possibly about doing some extra ones to put in the corners here just to give you a bit more strength, but I think it doesn't necessarily need it providing you've got it out properly. But that can just sit back in place and it's good. A new thing they've also introduced as well uh, for the 2018 collection is the ability of a skyhook system. So a skyhook is basically a uh, slight beading that's stitched in by where the beams are here and you've got one on this side as well. The principle beans that you can actually now create a hanging point anywhere within the tent. So the joys is yet again, you get these little sky hooks like so, and it just feeds on. So you can just pop it on like so. So it's kind of like the cable system you find on the actual uh, model itself. So when you get them on there, you've got to keep that pressed in to make sure it slides properly. And then you've got a hanging point straight off the bat. So it's, it basically allows you to, to be quite versatile and put it in wherever you want it to. So yeah, again, I've always had the idea of having one here, one here, and then having a bit of sort of rope between the two. Use that as like a tower rack, you know, just sing some tiles on it next to the window. You know, it tends to actually get loads of light and warmth inside of here. Uh, and it dry towels pretty quickly without taking up any much room. The carpet, like I said, is an optional extra you can look at. Um, it's a bit more luxury item, it adds a bit more insulation to the tent. And actually, when it's down, it's quite a nice warm feeling when you have it on your sort of bare foot on your toes. These sort of straps here are an, uh, something that's in, supplied and stitched into the tent. It's more there for additional stability if you require it. So what it stands for is basically TBS. So you might see this in the brochures from time to time, not really know what it is. And what it's designed to do is actually give you more stability in higher wind conditions. Uh, something that, to be fair, you don't really need to use. 98% of people don't really know they exist, let alone use them. Uh, but it's just there for a bit of peace of mind. So if you've got sort of wind coming in from one particular direction, you know, from the left or say for this sample, and the wind's pushing this beam in, this point here creates a triangle and keeps a good sort of stability. That twinned up with the guy rope just gives you a bit more rigidity and actually helps the tent uh, and awning to lead, basically stay in its position. It's something they've actually done in their behind backpacking tents for many years now and just filter it down into all the other range as well. So like I say, not only have you got a mesh door on the front here, but you've also got a mesh door on the side, which you can obviously enter in, please. So you've got a nice side door, so if you don't want to go you know, through the front door at all times, easily pop through there. And by having the inner bedroom in here, you've still got a good half of the awning space still, you know, free as you like. But generally, it's quite a nice place to sort of make a homely feel with some scatter cushions and chill out on an evening. And it's just an extra bit of area, certainly if you like a T5 or something like that, and you want that bit of area to chill in, it's a really quite nice, lovely place to be in, especially with the sheer amount of windows you've got in here. But really nice model and said, like I said, one of Mango's best-selling models and something that we certainly have on display at our indoor showroom. So come and check it out. We can always measure your vehicle if you're not really sure what size you are going for, because there are some times that it's not as clean cut as it should be. Uh, but really impressive model from Camp, from sort of Vango. Uh, so that is the Vango Keeler Low Standard and also the Tool.